A man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. So Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice based on understanding. By which he obtained a witness that he was righteous and God testifying of his gift. And by it he been dead yet speak. In other words, he was the first wise son that ever made God the father glad. Because Adam did it. Chapter 4 of the book of Genesis. Adam did it. Please, chapter 4 of the book of Genesis, from verse 1. Adam did it. Eve did it. They caused God heaviness. The first person that ever made God glad was this guy. And Adam knew his wife as he conceived from Boke and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Go on. And she again bore his brother Hebel. And he was a keeper of, the, of sheep. And Cain was a tiller of the ground. Go on. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Go on. And Abel also brought of the first lane of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. God was glad. The word respect there means favor. The word respect there means being singled out. The word respect there means endorsement. The word respect there means, you know, God's blessing. He had God's blessing. And the blessing of the Lord makes rich and had no sorrow. So, this guy started the string of those who took the bull by the horns. If he's offering, Paul explained it to us, if his offering was by faith, then it was a more excellent offering. Then that means that faith was based on an understanding. Please listen to me. This has been troubling my heart and I want to release it to us. It's so important. Please listen and very carefully listen. You know, some people were passing through some, the most difficult time of their life. It's the most difficult time they have ever seen in their life. Uh, as they were passing through it, they brought this for the Lord. They didn't bring it for me so I can bring it out. <laughs> they didn't bring it for me. You know, they brought it for the, as a matter of fact, they left it on the altar without putting them. I had to find out who. And it's 50-50 euro for the charity. In case you want to know the meaning. <laughs> for the church. I was, because yesterday, I want you to really listen to me. Yesterday, I don't pray. Everybody that is here knows that I don't pray on the altar. I just walk around. I want to walk around. That's why I went to go and buy this thing. You know? Because so that you can count my steps. That you see me clutching for. There are steps I must take a day. Because people like us still want to live 399 years if Jesus starts. <laughs> we don't want people to carry, hey, 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 Are you listening to what I'm saying now? I keep to the things that they ask me to do on earth. So I was brought to the altar here to pray. Unusually. So I lie down and pray. Then I was not satisfied. I said, I will go into the office. I got to the office. I was brought back. As I was brought back, I saw the envelope in my right hand here. I don't open what people bring here. I just said, let me open. What is the secret? I said, what letter did anybody bring here or whatever? I didn't even know it was sending. I opened it. It was money. I said, what? And God said to me, an excellent offering by faith. The first person who first did, you know, hmm. There will come a time that all that your life will need now is an excellent offering by faith to turn things right. Prayers will not do it. Loving people and being good to them will not do it. I can give you a number of people that did that. Alright? The next person after this one that did substantially well at was first king chapter 3 of Solomon. God already loved him. He already had a Davidic covenant over him. But to turn things around in such a way that they have never seen before, he gave a thousand pound offering. That means if anything was given by faith, probably the seed is given with the bread. 
I know you don't listen to what I'm, you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, my father was a farmer. When we were, anytime we were harvesting, especially maize, which you call corn, we will sell, a, we will sell major part of it to people who wanted to buy. But that is a sizable portion of it that is dry on the, is, it's got corn on the cob, it's dry there that we have to take. Eh? And then we, we harvest it very well and we keep it somewhere because it is what we'll have to use next year during the rainy, when the rainy season starts to plant new seed for new harvest. Probably this guy was giving both the bread that he had as offering and the seed. Not knowing where he will get another one. Therefore, he emerged king over his brother. Who eventually killed him, but what the brother did not know is that somebody whose offering has been accepted by God, you can kill their flesh. You can kill their voice. He being dead, still speaks. We are not hearing the voice of Cain anymore. We are still hearing the voice of Abel. We can't refer to Cain, except for bad example. But we can refer to Abel. As the first wise person that made God glad. Don't be looking at your destiny deteriorating around away without you sin offering to change it. I know this is not what they believe in this terrain. Everybody just speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. If you want, I, I, if I have the time, I will play something I was watching today by Oroko. Oroko said, I handle projects of millions of naira on weekly basis in Abuja now. But all of you did not know how I arrived here. So one day, he was still serving in NYSE. Stop that man. NYSE is youth cop and they were giving them some money. He said, as the service was finishing, God told him, give your phone. He said, I told God, hey! It was the most precious thing to him. He said, hey! He said, that's what he said. He said, but after the service finished, everybody left. He said, he could not go. He said, he tried to go to the door. He could not go. So he came back. He said, after all, he said, and I said, God, I can't go. He, Long time after everybody. He said, and I said, he want to give. He said, as he was trying to drop the phone, God now said, okay, drop the phone also with your allowance. <laughs> he said, God said, before you drop the phone, Use the phone to send the transfer <laughs> to, 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 to the church so that you don't say, I've dropped the phone, let me go. He said, God ask, also asked him to drop his shoes. He said, God started with what he could before he now, as soon as he dropped that one, God said, Your shoes also be allowed. He now said, From that point, every allowance he ever collected, he gave it to God. He now said, most of my friends were using their money to buy many, many things. So now, when you see me operating easily in finance now, you don't know where it came from. There is nobody who will turn a corner without having died somewhere in the spirit realm. I want, you look young now, but I really want you to imagine, and I've been probing God, what is the next thing that each person can do? And this thing has just been coming to my heart because it's part of what I do with my life that I don't know how to actually explain it to people. But right now, thank God for boldness to do this. It is even in times of troubles and times of need that this kind of an offering is given. Otherwise, you may wait where you are waiting, trying to manage yourself till the whole of life passes you and you are a son that is sleeping in harvest. This is the time that they will ask everybody, please, oh, you know, all our people that are going through, let us contribute for them, oh, everybody, oh, let us contribute. Yeah, do you have five euro? You have ten euro, you know, so that in time of your own problem also. It is in this time that they now say, no. God. See, these are the kind of things that turn the guilty to the justified. Can I give you an example? Can I give you an example? Give me second kings. Chapter 3, from verse 22. These are the kind of things that turn the guilty to the justified and the justified to the guilty. 
when offering to the Lord is involved, I'm not saying give me now. I'm not asking. You see, when I preach here, like I was talking to my daughter the other time, like I don't have myself is not in the equation. I don't ask any one of you to come and give me anything. In my heart of heart, I'm just looking for how each person could turn a corner. I don't have, when I'm dealing with my wife, I'm not in the equation. When I'm dealing with my children, I'm not in the equation. I just know that somehow God sees me. He will do what he wants to do with my life. And I can never be strong. My faith is too strong. I know I can never be strong. Somebody say amen. And they rose early in the morning and the sun shone upon the water and the Moabites saw the water on the other side as red as, as, red as blood. Go on. And they said, this is blood. The kings are sorely slain and they are smitten one another. Now they are from Moab to this point. They didn't know God was trapping them because the kings of Israel and the king of, uh, of, of Judah have, and with Edom has come to fight them. And when they came to the camp of Israel, Israelites rose and smote the Moabites so that they fled before them. But they went forward smiting the Moabites even in their country. Go on. And they beat down the cities and on every good piece of land they cast every man his stone and filled it. And they stopped all the wells of water and fell all the good trees. Only in Karasaret left they the stones thereof. However, the slingers went about it and smote it. Go on. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, he took with him 700 men who drew sword to break through even unto the king of Edom. Edom, but they could not go on. Therefore, he took his eldest son, who should have reigned in his tent, and offered him as a burnt offering upon the wall. And there was a there was great indignation against Israel, and they departed from him and returned to their own land. Did you hear what I'm saying now? You see, the defining line, the defi the line of the fight between those who make it to the top in Christ Jesus and not is some died, some are alive. Some are alive in their management and their planning and their brain, brain work. Some died and just say, God, that must be a change, like Anna. Even if it's only one child that is coming through me, these troubles are just too many. I have prayed, I have fasted, I have done everything. I'm from no, this king just took his son and offered as a bond of him. And God turned against his that is his own people. And they left. You are the one who knows what God might be requesting from, from you because you might pray from now till forever and that thing is not moving. You see that that king, he took 700 people. He said, let us break through Edom. He could not. He has tried other things before trying that one. <laughs> he just, what could be done as he offered the person that is pertinent to the heart of any king to have a son that reigns after them. When they are gone, everybody manages to do something about that. If they don't have a son, they, they go down to the grave in pain. But this one now took his other son that will have reigned in his stead and offered as a bond offering. And the Bible said, the indignation of the Lord turned against the justified Israel who had a reason that even God backed them up to invade them. And they returned to their own country and did not come back here again. The power of an offering. I have said it here. I think it was in the morning. I, in 2004, I had visa to go to the United Kingdom. And it was the first time. And you know, visa that time was gold. It's still gold. It's like as you are right now being invited to the White House. And they say you, they are going to give you a job there for the next three years. And you're going to be practicing what you study in the university. And they say your name came up. That's how FISA was to me. And it was about to expire. And somebody gave me 80,000 naira. Yes, not 100. 80,000 naira. And I needed about 170,000 or so to travel for ticket and basic transport allowance. BTA. And I didn't have. The 80,000 that was with me, I was led. I began to give it to pastors around. And people who needed it. 
And somebody told me, well, you, are, you have this money, you are distributing it, and instead of keeping it, and you, somebody, and there was no way to get any money from anywhere. But ladies and gentlemen, I did not just come to London. I first of all even went to Singapore and came back. If I now went to London, <laughs> like somebody who had all the money of this life. When I was entering London, I didn't have basic transport allowance. One of my friends called me and said, a friend called and said they would turn me back at the gate. In my bag, I even carry everything that I had in Nigeria inside my bag. Uh, what's the name? Uh, all these people are the, the immigration. They check, they open my bag. They saw pictures, bag, this artifact. There is nothing I didn't carry. Like a, <laughs> and they didn't ask me, how much do you have? They didn't ask me. They just let me. I didn't even know how I get. As soon as I left, I entered into a car, a taxi. A man began to talk. He said, pure unbeliever. I said, ah, the way you are, you look like a pastor. Somebody like you should go to Ireland. Just do 21 days fasting and prayer. Nobody will tackle you. You will go there. You will have good church there. That place you need to go there. I just entered a taxi. <laughs> he was a taxi. Taking me from Hitro to, 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 where do we call it? Bekte. Are you listening to his time? Are you listening to what? I, are you listening to what I'm saying? And that is how God ordered my whole life, in the midst of nothing. By faith, I gave a more excellent offering, which is an offering of understanding. What do you think God might request of you to have a turning point at this time, or is this the way you will continue? 